Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm actually here solo dolo for this one. Uh, TNT isn't going to join us for the off-season stuff, uh, but this is basically season one in review. I mean, I guess technically it's the second season, but the first season is the Desperados. The, the real first season was just me moving the team to Austin and, de and basically deconstructing it, so... What we're going to do here, guys, we're just going to kind of go through some generic stuff. It may be something you're interested in. It may not be. Um, I'm just going to kind of go through, like, how the stats, the yearly awards, etc. Um, just kind of an overview of Season 1. If you didn't know, we went undefeated. We won the Super Bowl. So, that's fucking awesome. So, I guess I'll go ahead and start out with statistics uh, and see how the team did this year. So, it was a little bit of a ridiculous season, so I guess... Uh, Eric Argamonte, Agramonte, 4,600 yards, 42 touchdowns, 7 interceptions, which is pretty damn spectacular for a first-year quarterback. So rushing, absolutely ridiculous. Deion Ellis, 335 attempts for 2,957 yards and 34 touchdowns. Um, and the sad part is, is if I would have started him from the beginning and not started Lindsey and he got 11 more carries, he would have, he would have crushed 3000 yards in a season, which is absolutely ridiculous. So, um, let's see here. So let's go ahead and receiving. So, uh, Garrison Harrison, of course, he's the man, 1,765 yards, 14 touchdowns and Jake, Butt, 1,099 yards. And 18 touchdowns. So then we have Glutton for Sutton, Cortland Sutton. He's he he had a pretty good year. Also Trent Taylor, and then I actually even threw to Ellis a, a handful of times as well. So let's go ahead and blocking whatever uh, defense. We don't even know who the defense is because we simulate. So it looks like Brandon Marshall had the most tackles, and then the next best thing was two of my cornerbacks had the most tackles which is actually pretty damn bad if you look there out of my one two three four five six seven top tacklers three of them are cornerbacks and two of them are secondary so you know this offseason I think I am going to focus more on defense because I don't control that like I can make the offense better by my play I can't really affect the defense very much so I think my goal is to make the defense stout so they shut teams down I mean my defense in one game gave up what was it, 70 points, 68 points? So I almost, if I couldn't have kept up, I would have lost the undefeated season. So I don't want to do that again. So kicking, uh, McManus, I missed three field goals. I think all of them were over 50 yards. Yeah, because here we go, 50 yards. I was, yeah, I was one for four over 50 yards. So, yeah, it happens. Um but that's cool. I mean, so he made the kicks when I need to. He also had some passing touchdowns. Actually, is is he show up on passing here? No, he doesn't. <laughs> God damn it. I wish he did. I want to see his passing stats. Um, because we did do some trick plays to uh to get that. Does it does it cut it doesn't show up in here, does it? No, it doesn't. All right, cool. So all right, kick return. We had uh Leonard Newman and Dion Ellis. Ellis was averaging, I mean, they both were averaging 20-some yards. Nothing really to write about. There wasn't shit. They didn't get any touchdowns. So, punt returns. Uh, Deion Ellis, he was kind of trash. So, maybe I'll find a different. I mean, do I really need my backup, my star running back, running back kicks? So, that may be different. So, let's go ahead and jump into the yearly awards. Um, see who won. So, we got yearly. All right, MVP, Deion Ellis. Me and Agramonte were top two vote getters for MVP. So that's pretty sweet. Did anybody else fall in here? No. All right, cool. So then coach of the year, I can almost guarantee it's my coach, Matt Hendrick, Hedrick, who actually, if you don't know, uh, I didn't even pick this coach because what happens is if you go to sign a coach and you back out of the menu or the without selecting or signing anyone, it disappears and you can't go back in. So I did that, and uh, and yeah, so this is the coach they defaultly gave me, which is fine. I mean, the coach doesn't really matter as much. So, all right, let's go ahead and get into the awards that are yearly, that are AFC-driven for us. So let's see. Offensive Player of the Year, Ellis and Agramonte. Uh, defensive Player of the Year, Brandon Marshall, Bradley Chubb, and... Oh, shit. 
we had another team relocate. Somebody's the Sentinels. All right, I'm going to have to go check that shit out. That's so awesome that another team relocated. Uh, and Lorenzo Malden. These are all players. I have no idea who they are because they're on the defense. So, no, God, now I'm excited to find out who the fuck disappeared. All right. Uh, rookie of the year. D <laughs> Jesus Christ. My three rookies. Dion Ellis, Eric Agramonte, and Garrison Harrison were the top three rookies of the year. Anybody else? No. Those are like the three guys I drafted. And they're great. So how about defensive player, rookie of the year? Nobody. The Sentinels. Javante Hale. I got to see what team that is. That's so awesome that another team relocated already. Anyways. Best QB. Eric Agamonte. Best running back. Deion Ellis. Best wide receiver. Garrison Harrison. Oh, it's the Chargers. Oh, fuck yeah. The Chargers relocated. That's so fucking awesome. Ha ha. That's so sweet. I wonder, I don't know what city that is. I'm going to have to go check. Oh, they're in my division. So we're going to play them twice. Oh, dude, that's so fucking cool. All right. So it'll be the Desperados versus the Sentinels a couple times. Uh, let's see. Offensive lineman. Oh, one of my guys is on here. Bolus. Uh, oh, two. Bolus and Campbell. So at least my offensive line is decent, I guess. Uh, best defensive line. Nobody. Oh, M. Fox. All right, cool. So even my defense is stepping up a little bit. Uh, linebackers, yeah, nothing, man. I need to step up the linebacker play. Defensive backs, Cravon LeBlanc. So that's cool. He's the best one, so I got to make sure I keep him around. And David Amerson. So, all right. And let's see, kicker, best kicker. All right, my, Mc, McAnus. Okay, no, see, McAnus should be the best kicker because he threw like four touchdown passes too, so. Anyways, but anyways, that is, that is that. That's all the awards for this year. So let me go ahead and, oh, NFL records. We did set some NFL records. Uh, do we do a season? For pass yard, no, we didn't do anything. For ru pass TDs, I don't know why it says Peyton Manning for the Desperados. That's weird. Um, no, it's uh, rushing yards. So Deion Ellis set the record for rushing yards. He set the re record for rushing touchdowns. And Garrison Harrison came in down here for top six and receiving TDs. Garrison, oh, Jake Butt came in with 18, fourth all time. And Garrison Harrison had 17. No, he didn't. He only had like 14. So cool. All right. Let's go ahead and... And, oh, he actually, actually set game records, too. So, pass yards, nothing, but uh, pass TDs. Did we throw a lot in one game? I don't know why it said, oh, because Peyton Manning was on the Broncos when he did that. That's right. Ha. Rush yards. Oh, God. He has the four most games of NFL record breaking. So, he had a 299, a 313, a 348, and a 406, which is absolutely ridiculous. So, uh but hey, I mean, whatever. It's I mean, it's fantasy, right? So, rush TD. Deion Ellis had five in a game, which is top. It actually ties an NFL record. Receiving yards, nobody did anything. Receiving TDs, nobody did anything. So, all right. So let's go ahead and go this way. What am I gonna look at now? Get out of stats. All right. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, ranking, like the. Uh, the, the records for the season here. So you can just kind of see what everybody else did. Uh, we'll go AFC North. So the Browns actually were 10 and five, which is fucking amazing. Went to the playoffs. Uh, AFC South, just the Jaguars. Uh, AFC East, Patriots are still dominant in the Jets. And then AFC West, our division, the Desperados, and now the fucking Sentinels. What team are they though? Oh, Orlando. Oh my God. They're the Orlando Sentinels. Holy shit. That is so cool. So now it's the Desperados, the Sentinels, the Chiefs, and the Raiders. All right. Uh, NFC North, Vikings were dominant. Eh, not too dominant. Wow. Not 10 and 6, and everybody else was 9 and 7. So I guess they weren't that dominant. But they made the ones that made the playoffs Falcons and Saints, NFC East, uh, Eagles and Cowboys, and then NFC West, it was the Rams, who were, God, only 8 and 8. Jesus. So yeah, so there is that. Uh, let me go ahead and show you who I'm not keeping on the team. Uh, there's nine players that are not staying. It is, uh, they're all kind of just whoever. They're just like Jack Slater and Leonard Newman were rookies I picked up. This, I mean, none of them are very good. Um, this guy was okay, but I don't care. I'm going to draft some stuff. One of my running backs and a guard. Those are the guys who are leaving. But I will show you what the team looks like now at the end 
of the year before we get into the offseason. This is like the final roster of the Desperados that won the Super Bowl. So let me go ahead and go through this real quick, and then I'll probably just wrap all this up. So, so QBs, Eric Argamonte, and this is the other rookie I drafted. So we have two players on the team that are young, uh, but... Yeah, Ergamonte is bumped up a little bit. Ellis, of course, he's now like a superstar. Uh, we got Royce Freeman and Philip Lindsay. Uh, Booker's going to be gone. Uh, fullback, uh, Janovich, wide receivers. Garrison Harrison is now my most prolific wide receiver. We got Sutton. We have Martavis Bryant, who I picked up as a free agent last year and then realized I didn't need, so I probably still won't use him. And then we got Taylor and Hamilton. Uh, and who knows? And maybe I'll find a wide receiver to, to supplement uh, Harrison. So tight end, of course, we got the butt. And then we got a couple young people. Nobody crazy. My line is okay. We got 80. Uh, Finney's only 72. Guard, Jalen or center, center Jalen Campbell, Cameron Goody. Nobody is uh, exquisite. So then uh, left end, you know, we got cap cap. So like there's a lot of room for improvement on the team. Um, as you can see on the defense, especially, uh, so I'm going to definitely try to upgrade the defense this off season. We run a three, four, so I need good linebackers. And even though these guys were good, I mean, I, they're absolutely replaceable. So, um, Todd Davis and Brandon Marshall, like, I mean, come on guys, like seriously, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of them at some point. So Bradley Chubby, I mean, he's good. I'm just playing it all by ear. I'm not going to uh, say who's staying and who isn't, especially on the defense, because some of these guys are kind of old. I will keep Crevon LeBlanc, uh, and we'll kind of go from there. So free safety, you got Justin Simmons and Josh Robinson, and then Sua Cravens and Dean Marlowe. So kicker, of course, is McAnus. We're keeping him as long as we can. He's 29. He won't be around all that longer, probably. Uh, and then Griffin Simino. I re-signed him for a long time because he was decent. I don't care if his rank, if his uh, overall isn't that good. We don't punt a ton in the Desperados anyways. Here are the draft picks I have this year, though. Um, so this is why I say a lot of these people are going to be disposable. I may trade these picks for more stuff. I may trade them in the offseason. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to do some finagling, so... Um, after trading all those players last year away, deconstructing the Broncos, I mean, I'm he sitting here with four first rounds, three second rounds, a third, three fours, one, two, three, four fifths, a ridiculous amount of sixth and seventh. So I may very well just try to trade for some players and get rid of like some of these bulk low end draft picks because I really don't give a crap about them. So we'll see what happens in the off season video. Tune in here in a little bit. Uh, that that'll be the next video released. And uh, so we can wrap up, you know, year one here and then start year two with the off season. So um, that's really it, guys. There's not really much else to show you. Um, I do want to thank you for checking out this video. I do want to thank you for watching the Desperados. Uh, I do want to thank you for looking at our channel. Please make sure to subscribe, like, leave comments. Uh, TNT will be joining me again, uh, TNT Dynamite, for the second season of the games. But uh I'm just he I just wanted to do this uh, on my own. I don't think he's really interested. He just wants to, you know, be there to w root on the Desperados to win every game again. So But that's all I have for this video. So thank you so much for watching. For Jonas, I am out. <laughs>